Hey, it's pretty sturdy. Should we see what it takes to break one of these things? Yeah. Oh! Where? Where did <laughs> Oh gee, John, I can't imagine what are we doing with baking soda and shaving cream and tangling solution and glue. Let me guess, we're making more slime. Yeah? Huh, oh, what are we making? We're using a balloon this time to make a stress ball. Oh good, I'm stressed out. So everyone knows how to make slime. Yes, so. everyone knows how. Because so you've watched all of our videos and all we make is slime videos. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a quick slime. It's not gonna be too big. Yeah, if you don't know how to make safe slime, watch our last video. Actually, how are you gonna get the slime into the balloon? Oh, I forgot we need a water bottle to cut in half. Ugh. Well, like oh, one of those? This was mine from like last night or something. Okay, well, uh, do you wanna drink it? No, you drink it. Oh, right, well, I'm just gonna like dump it out. Drink it! Four hours later. Shauna, uh, are you done? Oh, I've been done for like an hour. I just like to hear you cry. So next, you have your slime, and you take your bottle. I think you should probably take the bottle next. Dad, can you use your knife and just cut right here? Like right here? Yeah. Nope. That's that's probably. Good. Daddy, daughter, DIY, DIY. Get a sharp old knife and cut your face. Oh, you blow it up? The next thing you do is blow it up. That's what I was going to say next. Yeah, right, right. Blow Can you it up? This? Yeah, and then you um, get your assistant to hold this bottle. I was going to tell you that too. Hold the, it right the here. The homemade bottle right here. Exactly. This is the no, best spot. Right here. Right, exactly. That's what I meant. Right here. Okay, like right here. This. Yeah, like this. That's what I'm talking about. You just hold it like this. <laughs> oh, and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to stretch open the, the mouth of the balloon without letting out as little air as possible. Well, that didn't work. There's a bunch of air. That was the uh, example of how not to do it. That's John's way. Now we're going to show you my technique for doing it. And then you start. Really? Why did you put air in it? I don't know. It came out. Are you, wait, did you want air in it? Yeah. Well, no, that, that's open. The air would have... Yeah. Will you hand me the chopstick? Right, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to jab it in. That sounds totally normal. It's fine. This feels really... I mean, I, I've done this a lot of times, so I know exactly what it feels like, but it, it's feeling kind of gross. Like a turd moving through a colon. How do you know what that feels like? I mean, uh, that's what I've heard. L let me ask you a real question, Jonna. You're a kid, so what do you need a stress ball for? Life is not stressful school. when you're 11 years old. Your school is not stressful. Well, maybe it is when you have a bunch of work to do. A bunch of due dates. Ooh, you, when do you have work to do? Actually, just a, a note for yourselves. If you also like to take your dogs on walks, this is a great technique for getting the poop into the bag. It's just to bring along one of these funnels and one of these sticks, and you can really smash the dog poop down into the. We should have used that. We should have used a dog bag and put your and nope. put our hand in this like exactly what you do with the poop and you. Pick. Is there is there a better tool than the stick that we don't have? Probably. Jonna, it's so much faster with your finger. Yeah, but my finger is shorter than yours, so it Give me this. So I think I have just figured out an improvement for the technique, which I will now openly admit was not my technique. That was Jonna's technique. This is my new perfected technique, which is you can have a smaller funnel so that it's easier to get your finger in, and your finger can actually move more of it in um, than the stick is, because the stick is too small for the hole, and your finger will do a better job of actually forcing the slime down into the neck of the bottle and ultimately into the balloon, which is what you want. Oops. Look at what happens when you no, let but, dad but do see, something. But that was good. It's it's still fine. fine this is fine. We're, we're okay. This is, oops. Now it's, I'm taking over. I've taken over. Whoa! So you want me to do that? That's true, so I'll give it a little well, you bit. You want a little bit of slack, don't you? Yeah, that's what I was just Oh, there's some air in there. Look what happens when you let Dad do something. Dad, you broke the balloon. You broke the balloon. You broke the you balloon. You broke the balloon. Oh, this looks cool. Look at this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an alien. This is disgusting. I'm going to get one more balloon. Now that we've done it once, I'm going to show you how much easier this is. Okay, so Dad, 
you take this one, I take this one. Four hours later. All right, there we go. That's stress ball. It's a terrible stress ball. It makes me want to puke. Let me show you how awesome this stress ball is. Let me feel it. Get your own stress ball. Let me feel it. It's terrible. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's safe, John. It's safe slime. All right, Johnny, you want to wrap this up? No, I need to finish this. All right, well, John is gonna spend the rest of the weekend trying to figure out how to do this. I'm gonna sign off and say thanks, guys, for hanging out with Jonna oh, and Josh. Oh, oh, wait, wait, ready? No, 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 we're not <laughs> using, we are not using the poo bags. Ready, ready? This is the poop way, yeah. Hey, it's pretty sturdy. Should we see what it takes to break one of these things? <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if there's a different video you'd like to see us do another challenge. Anything. We read our comments. We love to do what you tell us to do. We are monkeys. This week's shout out goes to user Megan O'Brien. Megan, thank you so much for commenting, for watching, for liking, and subscribing. Peace out, the internet. We love you. Guys, mine actually turned out pretty nice. Ah! <laughs>